Hello guys and welcome. Thank you for stopping by on my YouTube channel. Even Atero. This is astrology. New moon in the sign of Gemini. Big thing. Big event for every single one of us. And I will explain to you everything that I'm able to see through the eyes of astrology. So, let's get started. Today is Tuesday. On Friday, 22nd of May 2020, what will happen? New moon in the sign of Gemini. This new moon is not ordinary, but nothing is cosmos is ordinary or plain. By the way, we get, as humans, only one new moon in a Gemini. So what is Gemini, first of all, is all about? Think. Then think again. With your head. With your common sense. Find data. Think. And find the truth. This is new moon in the sign of Gemini. And especially this one. Gemini talks about informations, information, data of all kinds. Gemini is newspaper, but who ever read newspapers anymore? Almost nobody. So nowadays Gemini represents internet. What you need to learn and pronto as soon as you can. Learn to read between the lines. Because this Mercury, which is a ruler of this new moon in Sun of Gemini, is squaring Neptune. Mercury represents little eye and Neptune represents biggest line. So they are squaring. Guys, you know what I mean. Lie versus truth in your private life but also on mundane level. So this is what it is. You can see this chart and I'm using as usual so-called natural uh, chart with Eris sign as ascendant. And guys, you can, you can see this snake which I draw. What is this snake? This snake represents South node, which now is in a sign of Sagittarius, and North node of the moon, which is down there, you can see, in a sign of Gemini. Aha! Uh -huh. So, nodal axis, they are changed from uh, Capricorn and Cancer to Sag and Gemini. Okay, so we have had one year and a half to become what? Own authority. This is big. So now you became your own authority. You will learn how to think with your head. You will learn to trust in your thoughts. You will learn how to read between the lines in your private life and on a mundane level as well. And now you're much more smart, right? So Mercury in the sign of Gemini represent communication and connection. Now this is big. North and South Node of the Moon in Sag and Gemini, especially South Node in the sign of Sagittarius, and gonna allow long distance type of uh, traveling. And guys most likely already know that. Uh, most likely you will be able to travel because of job, business and this type of things which you cannot delay but basically for next year and a half you will spend a lot of time in your neighborhood because Gemini represent neighborhood and who you can find in your neighborhood well your neighbors your friends maybe brothers and maybe even sisters 
who knows and some of you new spouse or at least new boyfriend or new girlfriend I will talk about that guys don't you worry about that so guys you can see this snake you can see this is this is the tail south node in the sign of Sage and the head in the sign of Gemini we need to follow the meaning of north node uh, of the moon which is now in a sign of Gemini with the new moon so what it means okay first of all connect with other people find people who are like-minded people who think Gemini like you organize yourself and think what you can do not for your neighbors but how your neighbors can help you and vice versa you ain't gonna be allowed to travel. So many people are without job. Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter. Many people, millions of people lost their job. So what that means? Find job on internet. Connect yourself with the like-minded people, brothers, sisters, or your neighbors and your friends. But this new moon in the sign of Gemini is not only celestial body beside the Mercury and Sun in the sign of Gemini. There is something else I talked about North Node already, but there is a Venus, and Venus is in a retrograde motion until end of June. So what that means? Venus represents women. Venus represents value. Venus represents love, but also money. So what that means? You will find new source of money if you don't have a job in your neighborhood or you will start thinking and doing something inside of your house. Venus in the retrograde motion also talks about your ex. For many of you, your ex will contact you because they will understand that what they have had with you was more than just enough. So they do not want to explore anymore. You can expect many of your exes to come back to you. But this is not the end of the story. Venus in a retrograde motion. Talk about love. So many of you, whether you are man or woman, you are waiting someone to come back or maybe to enter into your life, but this time from your previous incarnation. So Gemini, connection with the love of your life from your previous incarnation. And this will happen for many of you. Now, and still this is not the end of the story. Beside North Node of the Moon, Mercury, Sun and Venus, there is Karma Asteroid on zero degree. So you can imagine, this Asteroid Karma represents new cycle, new connection, new data, new information, new people and everything will happen in your neighborhood if you're single depends maybe you're attached maybe you're married then maybe this is friendship for some of you this is job for some of you this is uh, ex love partner and for some of you this is person that consciously or unconsciously you are waiting to pop up in your life so karma asterisk on a zero uh, on a zero degree basically talks about that and still this is not the end of the story there is another a very special asteroid, the name is Vesta. Vesta talks about your passion and what is sacred in your life. Honey, what is sacred in your life? Love relationship, children, family, your job, your knowledge, some skill of yours. Could be spiritual one. So there you have it. So either you will find what is good for you, something could be completely new. Could be new love partner, could be new skill, could be any kind of education. You can find some data, some information, and then this will open to you completely new view, new vision, new perspective for you and for generally speaking, for life, for your life. So this is like you finding crucial data crucial information or crucial person who will share with you what the heck is going on so you see 
we have bunch of celestial bodies in these chambers of Gemini. So guys, uh, you have historical opportunity to learn about what the heck is going on with the world. South Node in the sign of Sagittarius obviously talks and especially because for the past uh, 25 years Pluto passed through the chambers of Sag. What that means? Destroyed educational system. Sag is system. Capricorn is system. Economical. And Aquarius is also system. So, I know you understand me, guys. So, you need to think with your head. You need to become completely self-sufficient. This is um, Uranus in the sign of Taurus. And uh, Uranus will be in a square with Jupiter. What it means, there is a chance. Chance of your life. But, guys, you must take some risk. If you are waiting, sitting inside of your house and waiting for miracle to happen, nothing will happen. So you need to decide every single one of you for yourself. All I'm saying, you will get opportunity and this opportunity will present most likely before October 2020 because by the end of September 2020, uh, Pluto, Jupiter and Saturn ain't going to be anymore in a retrograde motion. So now this is pausing you are in the middle of pause so you can regroup the way how you think you can regroup group of people or simply uh, mental activities of yours what basically uh, this means it means you need to start thinking on a completely different way guys let me tell you one thing this is swim or sink swim or sink now, I know what I just said um, for many of you will be very, very hard. But I just said you will be pushed from, you will, you will get, you will be pushed from God and God will help you. God will help you. So by the law of synchronicity or by the law of karma, you will find people and all those, you know, connections that basically you are looking for. But you must be prepared and you must be ready. I mentioned Mercury, ruler of this big event, will be in a square with Neptune. Guys, listen to me. Mars is also in the chambers of Pisces. This could be lie. Neptune is in the sign of Pisces. This is also a big lie. There are many, 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 many people who are spreading all kinds of things which obviously they are not truthful. And maybe they are scaring you with not truthful you know uh, things so this is why it's crucial for you to find strength and courage to think with your own head think with your own head mars in the sign of pisces mars represent energy level of energy in every single one of us so imagine yourself walking throughout uh, the sea and you are uh, placed in the water uh, let's say to your hips and it's extremely extremely difficult to walk you know through the water it's you know you need to you need to uh, put a uh, big extremely big uh, energy into 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 moving you know from a to b okay so guys you need to be patient when mercury finally enter into own sign which is Aries, then you will know for sure what basically you must do so this um, Mars and Neptune and even asteroid Ceres and Hermes, they do talk about big confusion. Some people know exactly what is happening. Some people know what they need to do. But there are many, 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 many people and so many people simply do not know what they should do the next. Thank you, Lord. This Mars in the sign of Pisces will be in a sextile with Uranus in the sign of Taurus. What it means? by miracle and when i say miracle guys this is 12th chamber this is spices this miracle is god so god will push you into the right direction so when you see the omen when you see the sign go for it this is sextile uh, almost like this sextile 
between Mars in the sign of Pisces and Uranus in the sign of Taurus is like, you know, do now, do that now and think later. Guys, if you know, you know what I mean. But I know all of you are smart people. All of us na now must become like a Gemini. Gemini people are extremely intelligent people. Witty people. They know how to think. And typical Gemini, whether you are man or woman, they think fast. You see, Geminis think uh, very, very, very fast. Typical Gemini person can think on five teams or ten subjects at the very same time. If you know any kind of Gemini, you know, ask them, you know, how you can do that? You know, thinking, uh, talking with five people, thinking on a, on a, 10 different, you know, subjects and they can summarize data and information. Let me repeat, guys, once again. Learn to read between the lines. Okay? So, Sun will be in a square with Mars. Sun in the sign of Gemini. And Mars is in the sign of Pisces. How much you believe in you? Honey, how much you believe in you? This is square. How much you believe in you. Mars passing through the sign of Pisces. This is you having direct, direct phone uh, connection with God. I usually talk this, you know, transit. Direct phone call with the God. So use this opportunity. You have four weeks to learn where you truthfully belong. What next you want to do with your life, in your life, with whom you want to be connected. And I will repeat, this is confusion. A lot of people, millions of people, they are confused what they should do. So guys, you have a couple of months to regroup yourself. Some big secret will be revealed in the next one month or so. The most important thing is gather data, learn new skills. You will be able to travel, but most likely only inside of your state or only inside of your town or both, which is not bad. Uh, Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn, they are in a retrograde motion. What that means altogether, this is withdrawal of previous circumstances. But by the end of September, all those planets will start with, uh, with direct motion. So then... Once again, circumstances will change. Then will change. So guys, you have at least four months to prepare yourself and to regroup yourself in accordance with new information, with new data that now you should gather for yourself on mundane level and on a private level as well. Okay. So... Going back uh, to work, this is also one theme, but guys, you will see what exactly this means, you know, for you and for in your life, regrouping. But you will feel that, you will see that. So many people need to find a completely new job, but you will get new idea. Try to do something, organize, you know, yourself working on internet. And I already talked about that. So, these uh, measures are retreating until end of September. And I think that most of uh, restrictions will go back in September or October. So, this is, guys, new moon in the sign of Gemini. This new moon will be linked to Jupiter and Saturn. So, you will get a helping hand from Saturn and Jupiter. You will get beautiful opportunity to find, if you need to find, new job and new career. This career could be something, and I talked about that in my previous videos, uh, um, you will get idea or you will get simply new chance to do something or to work on, so on something that basically you like to do. I talked a lot about this uh, Saturn in a sign of Aquarius. Try to make your living from your hobby. Think, guys, at least a little bit about that. 
Be careful what you are doing on the street. Don't believe strangers on the street because Venus is in a retrograde motion and this Venus will be uh, linked in a way that you need, especially if you're a woman and especially if you're a little bit younger, you should protect yourself. Let me repeat, uh, and this is the final message, when it comes to love, now this is completely new karmical cycle and even if you are not waiting, let me tell you one thing, there is a person who unconsciously or consciously are waiting for you, most likely and for many, 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 for vast majority of you, this is love from your previous life. So obviously you need to learn something from one another. So guys, more or less, I think this is everything, you know, that I wanted to mention for this new moon in a sign of Gemini. Okay, if you want to talk with me, if you want to schedule private reading, tarot astrology, contact me on Ivana Tarot at um, Ivana Tarot at hotmail.com. I wish you all the best. And guys, um, try to be open. Try to be open to new um, towards you know uh, those new energies which are entering into into your life. Because uh, the most important thing is. Uh, nothing could happen, I mean nothing, um, anything which God uh, didn't allow. So whatever is happening now, remember, God allows that. And in a couple of months or years, you will understand that maybe this is like the best chance, you know, for you to do something with you or with your life. Take care.